is the test of priesthood. Wherever you are walking, you must have a mobile altar. Priesthood is not for prophets, evangelists, and apostles. Priesthood is for every believer. God said, I have made you a nation of kings and priests. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 6, it says he washed us in his blood and made us kings and priests. All of us are priests. And so you can be a lawyer, you can be a marketer, you can be a blogger. Whatever it is you are, if you want to succeed, ensure that your altar is alive. Why? Because this test will ensure your preservation. Because you can be prospering and your altar is weak. You will be cut off overnight. That's why many people at the prime of their career, that's when they are cut off. They got everything right except priesthood. And the day God wants to exhort them, that's the day they are cut off. I met a young man six years ago. A very clean footballer. Powerful midfielder. They had concluded about his signing everything. The night he was supposed to travel, he slept the night before. And somebody came in the dream, held his hand, and pulled this bone out. His hand became like this. And this is not fairy tale. Somebody held his hand, pulled the hand out of joint. Till today, they've not been able to fix that hand. If you see him, his bone, the bone is like this. And he cannot run at all. He can't even try it. And a career that would have been an outstanding career shut down. Because every other thing was kept, priesthood was lacking. That's why whatever it is you do, you must learn to pray for yourself. If you don't pray for yourself, some of the intercessors that will call you around 2 a.m. and say we are praying for you, is a lie. If I'm praying for you, how will I be sending messages at the same time? The moment he sent that text, he slept. Hoping that by coincidence, that thing will happen. And when it happens and you come, you say, that time I sent you that message, I was on a mountain. My sisters used to have one intercessor. Around 1 a.m., he will send message. He will say he sent this message from the mountain. I told them, this man is a scam. If you have bodies to climb the mountain, you will leave your phone at home. Who carries his phone to the mountain? And around 2 a.m., he's sending messages. He went there for holiday. It's not intercession. <laughs> Thank God for people praying for you. Bro, your knee must hit the ground. You are the first prophet over your life. And if you don't pray for yourself, anything that happens to you, bear it. Because your laxity on the altar, you must recompense from it by the surprises of life. That's why we are happy for all who pray for us. Those who are burdens to pray for us. But every one of us pray our way through life. Because a day will come when everybody will have legitimate needs to pay attention to. Hello, brethren. We pray that this message from the servants of God has brought blessings to you. If you have not yet been born again, we ask that you kindly join us in this prayer. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and that I cannot save myself. I ask you to forgive me my sins and come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. I trust in you alone for my salvation and ask that you guide and help me to live for you alone from this day forward. Thank you for your grace and your mercies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kindly like this video and share with your friends and families. Leave your comments at the comment section and tell us where you are watching us from. Remember, Jesus loves you. Stay blessed.